Okay, today's video we're going to talk about promo or some people call them discount codes. Should you use those with, within your PPC ads, your landing pages, or should your, if you're going to, whatever that discount code that's represented by, or the, whatever the discount is represented by the discount code, should I just announce how much off what is offered through that discount code on my ads? and my landing pages and not just speak of a discount code and just say there's so much off um, and then basically not give them the discount code until they need it at the last second. We're primarily talking about ads. They only have so much ad space with your PPC ads. Do I devote on my ad all the ad space into telling what the discount amount basically is going to be or whatever the offer is going to be and then wait for them to see the discount code on our site or should I tell them the discount code in the ad? What actually provides us the most results? I'm going to talk specifically about that, how you're going to be able to get the most out of your campaign one way or the other, whether you put the discount code on there or not. When they get to your site, how you should actually use that discount code, how early in the process you should give it to them or how late in the process, how and actually how to implement it for your best results. And uh, basically with that, about how much results basically you should be able to get out of your campaigns using the discount or not using the discount code, okay? So I'm gonna go over all of that on today's video. If you didn't know already, having an actual offer on your PPC ads will already drastically increase the click-through rate on your ads. Higher click-through rates means more profit from your campaign you know, basically get more sales on the same amount of ad budget. That's, you know, first off. Once you get past that though, you know, the best offer for, first of all, you want to, you know that you need to have a quote unquote offer on your PPC campaign. You're not just selling pencils. You're offering pencils at a discount or you're gonna, you know, you have two for one, whatever, that gets you more results. What is the offer we're gonna have that's gonna get us the most results? How can I structure it? The best offer for most markets though revolves around discounts or freebies slash extras. That's your general go-to for 90% of markets that's gonna get the highest click-through rate on your ad. Therefore, the most profit per dollar spent. A close second for buying, for people to get, for, to get people to buy at you at the highest rate you can and to get them to buy now and to create, in general, urgency, the more urgency you build within your, your campaign model in terms of people wanting to buy now from later, the more you're also going to make, is to be able to offer, it. so you always want to offer a discount to get the most out of whatever you're doing. Whether or not you can, maybe your margins are thin, you only offer them 10% or some, to rectify that, you could say it's only 10% off after you spend 100. A lot of our clients do that. That works out fine. As long as you're giving them something versus nothing, you'll get a whole lot more results. Double digits upwards of 100% better in results just by having an offer that offers something to them versus not. Particularly when you offer it only for a limited time that now pulls forward the the procrastinators and get them to buy because a lot of times the more they procrastinate more often they procrastinate the more often they're just going to forget buy something else run out of money whatever things change um, they cool off uh, you know in terms of the excitedness about your offer your respective though sale of course you want to test how much you want to give because there's a certain breaking point which you're offering too much it cuts into your margins too much and so therefore you should and you would get a similar response with offering less you're gonna to have to find that out some people offer a flat amount off uh, they might say fifty dollars off some people like I said offer a certain percentage off over a certain amount some people just do uh, certain items and they'll drive people to a landing page that offers that certain item and the discount will be just for that item and they'll only do it on certain items some people will do a certain percentage off st store wide and they'll put that in their ads to get click through rates up and get more sales in general, of course, because the cost per click goes down, the higher your click the rate on your ad, sales on the ad make the click the rate go up. And of course, if they get to your site and they know they only have so much time to use that offer, whatever is being offered there, because you tie a specific time frame to it, 
they're going to convert it to high IRA on your site as well. So you get actually two, there's two points at which you'll get more sales. And respectively, what you're shooting for is to get twice as many, uh, twice as much sales revenue uh, than you are actually spending in terms of offering that discount, that gimme, that giveaway, than you're offering there as well. So at the end of the day, you always obviously have an extra twice as much, or if you spend two dollars, if you get two dollars, you can offer one or want to offer one on what the discount is for the customer. Okay. So anyway, with all that said, um, how do you offer what you're offering here? So there's two different ways. Once you've gotten to the point which you can offer, you know you want to offer a sale, you want to get into that, you're trying to optimize. The question is, do I offer, I wanted to specifically address, you know, you have for an e-commerce company, you have a discount code system where they can punch in the e-commerce, the uh, discount code. The question is, do I put that in my ad? Uh, where I'll say sale, use X20, X12 code at checkout, whether it's a Google ad or a Facebook ad or whatever, or do I say sale 30% off for, you know, Google users or whatever, and I don't mention the discount code there in the ad, primarily to save space, uh, use more of the real estate of my ad just to pitch the features, the benefits, what the offer is ultimately offering here, so on and so forth. As a quick side, this, this is a cool little technique where you say for Google users only, remember like I said, um, building, you want to build urgency in what you're offering. So ultimately, if you offer a discount, you automatically get more by saying this is good for only to the end of the uh, May, you'll get more sales. Okay, if you make people feel special and say this is only for Google users, you'll get more response even yet. And you know, if you have a Google ad, that's a great way to do that. That's a, it's basically a quick, easy, free way to get a bit more out of your campaigns. Of course, you could do Facebook or only for Facebook users, what have you. Tested that, that actually gets more out of your campaigns, 10, 20% more. Respectively though, I will tell you right off the bat, just to jump the gun here a little bit and get to the point, having the discount code in the ad will get you more profit from your ads overall. Yes, it takes up real estate in the ad, but the fact that you have the discount code there, just like with, they gave you the, all the background of what stuff, how to implement an offer on your ad the right way that gets the most results. Why? Specifically because all these extra details go into making that ad not only seem better overall, uh, respectively, but more real. The fact that you say it's only good to end of May, they know you mean business. The fact that you have a discount code that's going to be, and I would recommend as a side here, the discount code, it should be May, if your discount's 10%, it should, and you're in May, you, you do end of May only, and May 10 is your discount code. Now your discount code reflects what you said in the offer, so they also know that you're not screwing around, and this isn't something that you frequently have, and you actually specifically really, really, really are only offering it to the end of the month. You'll get more out of your ads that way. It's, but like everything else in life, it's about the details. How you implement, so it's not important to have that discount code though, in the very top of your ad, like I mentioned here, or what it seemed like here, I guess, because that doesn't get you the most results. You want to have the discount code in the ad, but it's a secondary thing. It's lower down in the ad or the, le the less prominent part of the ad. It's towards the call to act, what they call the call to action on the ad. There's a method of writing ads that most of the people that write, that are good at writing ads do, whether they call it this or not, A-I-D-A, -A, action, or a, sorry, attention, interest, desire, action. The last part, action, the discount code goes at the very end of the process. That's how you're going to get the most out of the discount code when still absolutely you want to use the discount code. It's just going to come in the end. So I'll give you an example of how you use this. The answer from the drastic testing, sorry, the drastic testing that I've done with this indicates this exact model here of how to implement this is going to be the way that you want to do it to make the most out of your ads offering putting an offer in your ads and ultimately using that discount code and how to get the most out of the discount code in general. 
So if you're, I'll just, I'm just talking about Google ads. This same thing can apply for any other display ads, Facebook ads, anything else that out there. It doesn't have to be search engine advertising. So, but with Google ads, I actually meant to change this. This is the, supposed to be the description. So basically, if you watch my other videos, and routinely, if you want to get the most out of your Google ads, you're going to have one keyword for every ad group you have. Yes, you're going to have to write an ad for every ad group, or, or basically, you need to write a unique ad for every ad group, because that gets you, blows you way past the competitors, because most people are going to put a few keywords in an ad group and have one ad, and therefore, you can't speak to each person individually then. If they're looking for uh, black golf, golf ball tees, and you just have all the you know, blue golf ball tees, green golf ball tees, all that in one ad group, you have one ad for everybody, now you can't speak to just that person. The person that wants to, that types in black golf ball tees, they're hoping that you they see an ad that says black golf ball tees on it. You know that's what you want when you go to Google, so why don't you do that for your users? People that are in business for some reason want people to do what they wouldn't even be willing to do. You do what the customer wants to do with PPC, you're going to earn big. So the first thing, what the point of all that was, is the first thing you always do on the first headline of the ad is you put the keyword in there. Not, you don't have to regurgitate it automatically and you're not going to use software and you're not going to use dynamic keyword insertion. That stuff's crappy. You're going to handwrite an ad. They say black golf ball tees, you can say uh, black golf ball tees or you could mix it up a little bit. Uh, could be um, top golf, uh, black uh, golf ball tees. Normally, I'm just going to use if I can, as close to the, what they typed in as possible, black golf ball tees. If they type in like golf ball tees black, I'm not going to say golf ball tees black. I'm going to say uh, black golf ball tees because it, the, la na the language is more natural or not always, but you get my point. You don't have to be a robot right in which you think how the customer is going to want to see it, but with the understanding that you want it to be as close as possible at the same time of what they typed in because that'll get the most response possible, okay? And the less confusion, the less confusion you have, the less people will click on your ads, get to your site, realize, oh, this is what I didn't want, and then you got more waste in your model, you have lower profit margins. So you save the keyword, you can regurgitate the keyword back to the user, and that can be possible when you have one keyword per ad group, and therefore one ad for every single keyword that you have in the account, which 90% of people aren't going to do, therefore you're going to have the highest click-through rates, therefore you're going to be able to be competitive automatically in these uh, search advertising spots in your market. Say so the keyword, and then your offer that you come up with, 30% off for search engine users, for Google users, what have you, you want to say that up front. Um, and with that said, that actually tells, because Ultimately, with the AIDA model that I gave you, a, the first A is attention. You've got to get people's attention. That's why you, first of all, say the keyword back to the user because they right away, you're, that's what they're scanning for when they get to, once they click enter on their search bar. Um, then they're going to, when they see the offer, 30% off, because there's numbers there, numbers usually get a higher click through rate, as do special characters. So the percentage uh, character, um, character, if you want to call it that, uh, will get you a higher response rate increase. And it gives them actually something that they're not going to get elsewhere. So, specifically money, in which that's the top thing that people want based upon my prior experience talking, what, mentioning that to you that before. So you just give them what they want. What you typed in, you want money, we're giving you money. Going forward for your second headline, you want the reason why you're having the offers. Like I said, so basically people will believe it more, like I said, if you give a reason, or I didn't quite cover this, but if you give people a reason why you're offering the offer, it'll, it'll hit people in the gut more. Um, respectively, if you give them how long the offer is going to last, um, that also helps to make the offer more real. I like to combine, like, into, you know, May sale to end of May only, so they know it's real and how long it lasts kind of in the same breath, if you will. So, you're, but you're definitely want to come up with something. I recommend if just, you could try different things, but the easy thing to do is mention something about that month, either the holiday that's that month 
or you just mentioned the month in general. Valentine's Day sale or February sale, whatever, so they know why they're getting the 30% off, so it doesn't sound too good to be true. And uh, they understand it's only gonna be good for so long and they understand that you didn't make it up and say this month only, well, maybe they just do that all the time. It's not really the sale, that kind of thing. So people are thinking all this stuff and you, I, and you gotta address it in your strategy. So that's, you have the reason for the offer that you made in the first headline. If you can't fit the, the keyword and the first and the offer in the first headline, you put the offer in the second headline and then if you can't then fit the reason in the second headline, you do it in the, th the reason in the third headline, okay? If you could fit though your keyword and the offer in the first headline and then the reason for the sale in the second headline, now you get into for the third headline, the differentiator slash benefit of what you offer. So more, we're, we're getting a little bit past then what it is, you know, we're offering what you want and it's actually at a sale for a short term time, only for a short term and here's the reason. So therefore you should be interested. On top of that, our product, and this also works for service companies, our service, um, if you productize your service, you can definitely, you know, create, you know, prices on your site. Lots, uh, lots in stock, no waiting times. So on top of everything else, great, you're offering a discount and this is what makes me makes you different. That's great. Now I know why you're in business. It gives me even more reason to respond. So if you want a higher response, I would recommend that in that particular place. Don't this specific order I'm giving you is the most ideal order that I've found. I'm giving it to you for a reason. And it goes with this AIDA model. Attention, 30% off, interest. Um, you know, it, it, it's only good for so much time. Uh, desire, we have, you know, and there's stock, in, uh, stock issues in our industry. We sell refrigerators, a lot of them are out of stock. And we have stock, we don't have to wait. So that makes it desirable. And then we get into the call to action at the end of what we want the user to do. So I mentioned using the discount code in the ad is definitely gonna give you a lift. It's just a matter of where. And this, now I'm gonna to get to that part now. So you get to, you got the three headlines. It gave you the strategy for that in general. If you just want a good working ad right out of the box, ready to go that you can use today. The description on the ad, that's the part where I'm gonna list the discount code now specifically. I'm gonna say like use code XTX1. And then to go with what I said before, surely should have put here, like Valentine's one, zero, or what have you, at checkout. So that's your call to action. That's where I'm gonna use my discount code. Respectively, nobody reads the description on the ad unless they've read the top part of the ad and they like it already. That's why you have the AIDA model. You first gotta get their attention, then you gotta get their desire, or you gotta get their interest, and then you have to develop desire, that's the time when they'll read your call to action. Then they actually care about it. And that's where you drop your discount code. And then they know you can get all that just by using this, this code here. There ain't no screwing around. You go through and click on this ad. You're going to know exactly to get what I just offered you. So that's where you put that. We're testing it out both ways because this is about discount code specifically. I had 25% increase on average, basically, having that discount code in the call to action there in the description versus not having it or just, just not having it in general in the description, okay? Where we would normally, I would normally put the call to action because this is how, kind of how I structure all my ads. So again, the answer to the whole you know, topic or title of, the, of this video is, uh, yes, absolutely. Every time you want to use the discount code and how to, it will not work as good if you put the discount code up front. We'll be very clear about that again, but it works even better. It adds more to your overall package. If you, and you mention it at the call to action at the end of the quote unquote sales process of the, convincing that person to click, you know, and then it's in which the user will read and you want things to, to be read in a specific order, okay? Hopefully you got that. So the extra 25% is substantial. You wanna do that, it's nice. Now, going forward, what do we do about the landing page? I talked about how I would cover 
about discount codes, where you mentioned that on the landing page, how you uh, at, uh, mention it. Um, there's a thing called a hello bar. Different people call this different things. It's the little thing at the very top of the screen where the top centimeter on the screen basically goes all the way across. You can have a, a bar that pops down and then a, it can customize a message up there. I'm sure you've seen this many times and just did not know it was called hello bar or what have you. You can have something that pops up. I recommend using that hello bar to mention what was just on your offer there. Why? Because when they get to their site, otherwise they're going to say, uh, I don't know if what they said on the ad is really what I'm going to be able to get. Of course, even though they mentioned the discount code, how do I know that discount code is going to work? I'm reassured right away. You want to, and taking a step back here, any question or doubt that your users might have in their minds at all, if you don't quash those, that drops your conversion rate. It quashes the how much you're going to make. Your goal with all of your, your sales funnel, your marketing, your PPC marketing is to get rid of all those potential questions and anxieties as possible just with your ads and landing page by themselves without even having to call in and ask. That's where getting in touch with your salespeople about what type of questions they ask comes in handy because you want to then go back to your, your PPC campaign and landing page where you're taking people to and to cha make changes so they don't have those questions as often because your amount of money you're going to make goes up. So if the hello bar says just what I said on the ad, it's not intrusive on the page, it's a great place to put it, but it's still red, you'll notice it right away. Therefore, right when you get to the site, you'll notice it pop down. Um, I'm assured that now I was looking for black golf ball tees, I'm on the page, right at the top says that I'm going to be able to get that, I just have to use the code. There's no question when I go to check out, I'm not going to get the, what they, they dangled in front of me, and therefore I feel more comfortable staying on the site Versus if I'm questionable even a little bit, the likelihood I leave before finishing, when I had the intent to finish, it, it's just more likely you're going to lose you know, a certain percentage. That's just how things work, whether it's 10%, whatever. You're, you want to plug all the gaps in your campaign like this if you want to make a good amount of money. So you have the hello bar. Now, a lot of people are going to say, Corey, I don't want to offer a discount. My margins are thin. At the very least, if I'm going to do this, I don't want to offer it to current customers. I hear this all the time. The great thing about the PPC campaigns is, is you can have PPC campaigns just for your brand terms and then non-brand terms. So you don't have to, I would recommend not offering a discount code on your brand ads by, by default. Okay. And if you do, you should have a different offer there if you're going to do it. I won't get into that in, on today's video, particularly for the search campaign ads since that's what we were talking about. But uh, the non-brand ads, you can assume it's a new customer. So if you offer a discount there, that's great. And guess what? With these hello bars, you're probably already thinking, I don't want everybody on my site now going to see that there's a discount code. I, I just want to be able to have my PPC campaigns make more money. Well, guess what? Those hello bars are sophisticated enough now and have been for a while that the pop, it'll only pop up for the users who clicked on your ad. And if they did not click on your ad, they're not going to see it. You can have it even to where if they click on a non-brand ad, they'll see it versus if they click on a brand ad, they won't see it. So you can get the benefit of making sure that they're not going to feel um, that there's a potential that they're going to get through the process and the code won't work for the pe exact people that you want, whereas everybody else won't get that hello bar experience. So that's if you've got the time and you've got the motivation to make a lot of money with PPC, I've tested this. This is the best way to do it. This is the way to implement it for make, with your offer when you get into it and then using discount codes, okay? Th specifically through driving new traffic through PPC, this is a great extra way to make a little bit more efficient, of, 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 be more efficient about your ads and make a little bit more money. Okay, going a step further, if you're gonna go ahead and make an offer, you put those on your search campaign ads, whether it's, you could even be Bing search or Google search to make more money, which, by the way, just going from no offer to having an offer, see many, many, many times you'll get a 100 to 200 percent increase in click-through rate just by doing that. Particularly if you just go through all the, the BS learning curve and just use this formula that I gave you here. So you're going to get a huge increase if you're not doing this already, by the way, so you can do this. 
Yes, it's gonna take some work to update your ad regularly, but, and, and you're gonna, some people worry if they're gonna lose their ad history, pausing ads and turning on other ads. The click-through rate increases such, so substantial that whatever potential decrease you're gonna get by using a new ad every month, let's say, it'll way, way make up for it just in the increase in click-through rate, which translates into an increase in profit from a decrease in cost per click you get by having a higher click-through rate. So higher click-through rate means higher quality scores, which means then lower cost per click, which means higher profit on the same money. If you can, you, you can easily double to triple the click-through rate by having this offer the way that I showed you here. And so there's where your 100, uh, so, so I mentioned 100 to 200%, this is actually quoting CTR here. The profit will go up about a, a similar amount. Uh, actually, it doesn't take as much of an increase in CTR to increase the amount of profit because the quality score algorithm is based upon a uh, like a logarithmic scale. I uh, won't get into the specifics of all this. I'm just going to tell you, if you increase the click-through rate across the board of all your search ads 100 to 200%, you're going to make you know at least double from your ads. So don't worry about switching ads all the time. You'll have to have then somebody assigned to go in there and next month, Instead of saying Valentine's, it's gonna say St. Patrick's Day sale, whatever. You just gotta keep it rolling. But my point is, once you see this is working, which you will, 100%, you want the remarketing ads, you want display remarketing ads on Google Display Network to run at the same time, because you're gonna get way more. They clicked on your ad in the, in the first place for the reason that you, for the offer that you have, specifically. That's what flagged them down. Uh, obviously, they saw their keyword, which helps, you know, the reason why partially they click through, but let's say half of the reason they click through or half the people click through because you were offering that special discount to them for people who, you know, are on the search engines and because it was, you know, that time of the month and only for so many days. And so what you do is you simply take everything I give you here and the exact order I give it, gave it to you here and you make a, I always start with like, um, Two, uh, 300 by 250 in terms of the dimensions of a banner ad, and I'll make the ad say all the same stuff. Try to fit it in there the best I can. I'll try to do that, and then I'll try to have one image that's relevant, uh, related to the product that I'm selling, or could be a, an image related to a service I'm selling, because this actually could be retooled for service companies as well, of course. And uh, that way they understand what the offer that they had what it was tied to. If I'm selling golf supplies, the golf supplies, um, ideally, if they were looking for black tees, you want the image to be a black tee. And you literally can get, I made a, a tag here, 100 to 300% more ROI if you go through and if they, the remarketing ad has a picture of the exact item in which they were initially interested in with this offer on your ad, which you can easily do through Google Analytics uh, audience uh, where you can set up custom audiences. You can actually say if they clicked on any of the black, black golf ball tee ads, then they're gonna get these set of ads. And you can do that for every product category you have. This works particularly good and more so the more products you have. Obviously comes with more work, but uh, you will get substantially more of an increase by having that offer by right away, as soon as they leave the site, a lot of times they leave and they just need a little bit more time to get paid or whatever. They know they're gonna get paid on Friday, they're gonna buy. You follow them up, you know, daily or whatever with, with the sale ad. You should actually have other remarketing ads running that talk about the reviews of that product or if your service in general or your company in general, testimonials, um, the features or benefits or unique uh, benefits of the product or service rotating out with your ad that you're going to develop here that says that there's a sale this month, this time, for only this long. Uh, but adding that, this, this extra ad you're going to make just for, and running it for a limited time along with your search ads that are going to run for a limited time, you're going to make even more money than just having the search ads update. But like going back to what I said before, they, they clicked on your ad for a reason. You follow them up with that same reason so they remember you and, and you're going to, they're going to forget you less. They're going to go through with it more when they uh, ultimately go to buy and they know they're gonna buy it today, they, they're in market for golf tees, they say, shoot, I gotta buy it today. You're the first person they think of, therefore you get the sale. So you're basically earning 
the top, the, you become the first person by default that they think of when they do go to buy, when they have to procrastinate no matter what their purchase. So, and so with that banner ad, you, you put it in the exact order here though. And your discount code, I usually put a, what they call a Johnson box. You can Google this. The discount code has a dotted line around the discount code. I found that works the best. And um, you have an ad that gets a really good ROI. Respectively, you know, of course, the quicker, the shorter the time from the time they've been on the site, the higher the ROI from that ad will be. So there'll be a point in which, you know, maybe it's 15 days, maybe it's 30, maybe it's 60. You want it to, you know, depending, you know, of course your offer probably, well, I'll tell you up front, you don't want your offer to last longer than 30 days um, because it won't be effective. If you want even better results, your offer should be seven day to 10 day specific. It could be mid-month sale, end of month sale, you'll actually get more just as, as an extra credit. But um, how long that ad runs for the person from the time they get to the site, it'll be more profitable from three, one to three days versus three to seven days because more people, the longer it's been, the more people kind of forget about it. Uh, so you get the general idea here. It shows up for everybody who, you can actually have your remarketing ads. If, you're, if you're, you want to be careful, you don't want to offer this discount to everybody, you can actually through, again, remarketing and the, uh, where you can create custom audiences, you can have an audience. Everybody who's clicked on a PPC ad, non-brand, we want our banner ad that we made that, that accompanied this exact model for, uh, on our ad to show up and show up for, until the sale is over. Uh, turns on a certain date, turns off a certain date. And you actually can code your any remarketing campaign and also the, the, the ads themselves to turn off and turn on at a certain time interval that you want. So if you're afraid that you'll forget, you can literally through Google Ads have it turn on at X date and turn off at Y date and at certain times case you were wondering. So you actually can plan out a whole year's worth of ads like I do and and whole year's worth of promotions knowing that each promotion helps the CTR and therefore the profit uh, and it'll turn on you know when it's supposed to and off when it's supposed to. So once I set it up the whole year just it keeps going. Ideally all non-brand PPC clickers will see our ad and we're regurgitating the message back to what they saw that initially attracted them to them, attracted them. We know it tracks them. Again, they show it to them again to get them back to the site. And the more often they come back to the site, the more likely they're going to buy. And the more often they see it, even if they don't click on it, the more they're going to remember us when they do go to buy it and they get paid so that they'll buy it then, which half the value of PPC is from. So it's not just about clicking through. It's about kind of slamming it into their head so they can't forget it. As a, on top of everything else, it, you want the best results with these with, with this remarketing. I have an arrow pointing down here, and basically, like I I already mentioned that this same formula use that just use that in the banner ad, okay? For people who though, if they purchase, they fall off the list. You you can actually have a negative audience set up so that says if they clicked on non, a non-brand ad, show it up until you know, you can sh have show it. And then of course that ad, you can have programmed through Google ads, the menu to shut off at a certain date. But if they also, that custom audience can say, if they actually purchase, they fall off this list. That's what you want. If you want, if you want even more results, I highly, highly recommend having a, a cart abandonment code. So you'll create another code just for cart abandoners. If they hit the cart, so if you're if non, going back to, what I said before, your non-brand ad clickers, they'll see your ad that I told you to, to run alongside you know, your, your PPC search campaigns. And uh, if they get to the cart, you, you want them to, to fall off and not see your original ad that I told you just to create. You want them to see an ad that says, did you forget your, your cart order? We will give you, you know, the X percent off if you, actually finish your cart order right now. That offer works extremely well. And you come up with, and because I, I'm mentioning this because we're talking about discount codes here, you make a separate discount code just for the cart abandoners. And of course, so if they get to the cart, they clicked on our non-brand PPC ad, 
but they got to the cart. They go into a separate audience and separate campaign, and it has a separate discount code and a separate offer. That's going to get you, you the, mo the most overall value from using discount codes, and because they're so valuable for anybody who's gotten to the cart and didn't buy, they're so valuable, you can really hammer those people and should. Um, <clears throat> respectively, the more time somebody goes to the site even, the more likely they are to buy. And so through your marketing, you should actually invest more if they visited once versus twice versus three times. Uh, and it keeps going up actually exponentially to the point where if your, your remarketing isn't profitable, you should just simply test, you know, maybe if they only visited once or twice, we don't remarket to them. Anyway, as far as discount codes, once they purchase, now I would recommend another discount code Assuming that you're in a market where they buy more than once, of course, and um, you have a discount code just for customers, okay? You could take, I always like to have then an ad that says uh, customer appreciation sale. Use the same formula here, but create, change the wording a little bit and say customer appreciation sale. I actually only do these once every 90 days versus the, for the new prospects. I'm going to keep something going that's going to keep my search ads working the best and running with this with this offer on it all the time because if you show your current customers a promotion all the time they'll pick up that you're offering it all the time and then it won't have any effectiveness but if you offer it once every 90 days they won't they won't okay um, and they also very they won't really wait for a, a disc a discount if you will too often anyway your overall I've tested this. You're, you, you for sure overall make more from your current customer base if you have a remarketing ad that shows up just for the customers every 90 days. Respectively, if you come up with a discount code for that, um, your brand search ads could update. But like I said, I'm not going to talk about that today. But for sure, uh, you've got recurring customers. You want your remarketing to speak to those customers as being, again, try to make them feel special. You make them feel sp more special. They buy more, uh, they, they want to give back, you give to them, they want to give back. You have a special discount code for that and you put that in the ad. Okay, um, so yeah, I mean, that's a, I gave you a lot more information about PPC than just about discount codes itself. Hopefully it helps. Definitely want to use them. You want to separate them out based upon how far down your customer chain that you are, new customer, do they get to the cart or, did, or are they a customer already? You have a certain formula you want to use on your search ads. Make, um, you know, basically 100 to 200 percent more out of your search campaigns by using this general formula with the discount code. The discount code itself gives you another 25 percent bump. With the remarketing ads, having the discount code in the remarketing ad versus not having it in the discount or the remarketing ad, specifically with the discount code and then the, the, the dotted line around it, the Johnson box get you a 25% more out of that remarketing ad versus not having the discount code in it at all. Similar to how the search campaigns actually give you a, the 25% bump by using the discount code versus not. And so you can understand why you want to use offers now in PPC campaigns in general, why you want to use discount codes, and how to use discount codes to your advantage. Hopefully this all makes sense and you get some good results, more results out of your PPC campaigns accordingly. I have a... A lot of other videos on this channel about PP, other PPC strategy, strategy, sorry. Um, you should definitely check them out if you have not already. I have a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog with step-by-step -step instructions on how to build campaigns that are guaranteed to work for our clients and that I use personally have developed myself for our clients uh, and to guarantee the results. If you have any questions about anything that I covered here, leave me a comment down below. I get back to every single person personally that leaves me a question or comment on this channel. And apart from that, I hope you got a lot out of this uh, video, like I said, and we're able and are gonna be able to make some good money from it. I'll see you on the next one.